Welcome to the highlights of the Australia-Pakistan match at the Sydney Cricket Ground. This is the final preliminary game between uh, these two teams before they then take part in the best of three finals to be played in Sydney and Melbourne. The Australians are without McDermott. He's had to fly back to Brisbane because he has uh, a flu virus. And Mark Waugh has been brought in as 12th man. Campbell will play. And Pakistan have made uh, changes there. Mushtaq Ahmed, the leg spinner, comes in. Amir Malik comes in and Torsif Ahmed comes in also. We join play now in the second over. One run on the board, Rackerman is the bowler. He's coming into bowl to Ramiz Raja. It's wafted straight down the ground. And he's driving at the pitcher that delivery and picked up three runs. He's struggling. <laughs> Safely home. It's no wicket for four. out, trying to work it on the onside, the ball stops, tries to Moody in the gully, Ramiz Raja out for three, it's one for four. An indication there that uh, the ball is not coming on anywhere near as much as it was in Adelaide. Ramiz was able to whip those deliveries away in Adelaide, put them through the onside field for four. But he looked dejectedly at the bat as he walked off. Pakistan one for four. I say in and well, goes for it and gets it. Beautifully driven through the covers. The outfield's fast. And that's four. Well, that's the way he should play. He's in great touch. He really looked like he got down the track to get that ball. He has taken a very good pace forward. And that's the confidence you expect to see from a man in form. It's gone for him. Got it over mid-off. That's four more, my word, Saeed Anwar, having a wonderful series. Plenty of wrist work in that shot. It was well hit, it was a good 30 metres over the circle. Oh, he's got the charge, he's got it away. He's going to race away for four over cover. Well, one gets a feeling that the Pakistan top order is not going to be tied down in the first 15 overs. Charge Terry Alderman and slashed him over cover when the ball was short of a good length. Alderman saw him coming, banged it in short, and that was the mistake that Terry Alderman made. Oh, that's a massive hit. That's a big one up on top of the stand, is it? My goodness gracious me, that is huge. That's the biggest hit I think we've seen this summer. It's a monster. Touches Superman about this shot. That one has almost gone into orbit. The trajectory of this had no right to hit that behind square leg. Pitched around off stump. And that one has taken off. I was about to say before, the sound of the ball on the bat of this man is the delight to listen to it's a good indicator of how much form he's in a sense of timing really the ability to make a selection to hit that shot what will alderman's comeback be it should be out and isn't just took a little while to pick that one up dean jones and they get two for it can't afford to drop him just took a fraction of time to turn, Dean Jones. I think he thought it might have been going a little bit further. Well, Alderman let that one go a little quicker. Didn't bounce too much. Held up on the pitch. And Dean Jones, perhaps a lesser man, wouldn't have got near that. A very athletic cricketer, Dean Jones. That's a magnificent square drive. Over pitch from Terry Alderman, a fraction wide and beautifully timed by Salim Malik. Magnificent down on one knee. The 50 off, 63 balls and more runs. Almost a repeat shot there, so two pounds in succession against Alderman. Change in the bowling now. Greg Campbell will replace Carl Rackman. 
That's good batting. Just on about off stump. He's picked it up and whipped it over mid-wicket. Yet another boundary. Dangerous, dangerous man. I can say for all those young fellas that have aspirations of playing cricket at the highest possible level, this is not necessarily the way to play. Four more. A great shot. A great shot. Now he's picking the place where he wants to hit it. It's anywhere near off stump. He's not bothering to go straight because the man down there at deep mid-off will field it. He just rolls the wrists a little bit and whacks it away wide of mid-on. Well, there's no one. That's good batting. Oh, what a shot. <laughs> Pick the bones out of that one, boys. He has square driven that at many a mile an hour. Well, every summer we see a little gem of an innings. I thought we were privileged to see that innings in Adelaide. Magnificent century by this young fella. He now believes that he is really a class player. There's no doubt about that. Here's the master out there at the moment. That could be out and is out. Safely caught at mid-on by Stephen Moore. And so the end of Saeed Anwar for a brilliant 43. It only takes one ball to take a wicket. No matter how well a man's playing, you've got to believe that the next delivery you bowl, you can take a wicket. Greg Campbell has done that. He's put it up and he's basically let the batsman get himself out. He's had success over the top, over the infield, over the fence, into the boundary, but this time falling short, a sparkling 43 in just 36 deliveries. Steve Waugh took the catch. And Pakistan at 2 for 74. It's going to be close to four. The outfield lightning fast. The Sydney cricket ground in excellent condition after the heavy rain. It's hit well over cover point. In them using his feet and hitting on the up. Glorious shot. He was on his way before the ball left O'Donnell's hand. So that's the 50. Salah Malik. Fine half century and Pakistan at 2 for 116. We'll see and we've just come in at the right moment. It's gone a long way back. Gave that some tremendous hammer. Only a little hit, Richie, in comparison with the other one we've seen today. Great shot. Beautiful stroke. Power and placement. Beat Campbell. Had him one stride short. He attempted this stroke in the last over. He was hit on the pad, but this time watched the ball a little bit more closely onto the bat and hit it with blistering power. Out. Not as upset as the batsman's going to be there. That's Sully Malik. And he won't be happy. His skipper will be even less happy, but the opposition number, AR Border, will be quite delighted by that. And although Carl Rackerman took the wicket, much of the credit must go to Alan Border, who off the last ball of that over, the previous over, saved a certain single with a magnificent piece of fielding. Tom Moody takes his second catch for the innings. Salih Malik on his way for a very well made 67 off 85 deliveries. Pakistan now 3 for 161. Ejaz could be caught by Steve Waugh. Yes, easily taken in the end. Ejaz really not batting too well at all tonight. Or well, this afternoon. Didn't find his timing at all. Uh, that was a poor shot. Really uh, 
as Ian Chappell says, hardly timed the ball in the middle of the bat and tried to swag Simon O'Donnell. No need to do that. We haven't reached double figures. Head was up in the air and Stephen Waugh doesn't miss many. Took a straight forward catch at mid-off. That's available wicket for Australia. Pakistan four for 176. Easy adds out for nine off 18 deliveries faced. Big shout. And umpire McConnell has given Salim Yusuf out LBW. So Simon O'Donnell striking again for Australia. Tried to sweep that. And hit somewhere forward of square leg. Comes forward. Well, I don't know about that. Seemed to, it's a very dicey one, I felt. But he's out. That's all that matters in the scorebook for five. And it's five for 184. Slower ball and almost a court and bold. And what a good one that would have been. Simon O'Donnell, he really was a, a schoolboy prodigy. Tremendous athlete. Played Aussie rules football. Athletics. And some of that ability is needed to be able to get a hand to a catch like that. Have a look at this. Our stump cam should give us a tremendous view of the way it looks from somewhere around about the eye line of Simon O'Donnell. That's the sort of view. Obviously, it happens so much quicker when you're out there. Reflex catch. Well, it's a slower one again, but this time Amir Malik's picked it up and dispatched it to the mid-wicket fence for four. After 44, Pakistan five for 196. Limran has hit that one deep. Mark Taylor won't drop it. Great pair of hands. He just doesn't drop catches, this young man. Well, Imran Khan, I guess at the back of his mind was, here's a bowler coming back in. It'd be just a little tight in the muscles. I'll try and send him off with a big hello didn't quite get to the pitch of the ball didn't come onto the bat could only go in the air and in the finished it was a pretty simple catch by taylor so Wimran khan yet another superb half century pakistan are now six for 196 and Imran khan made 56. young mushtaq ahmed is the next man in it's played very well down to simon o'donnell at fine leg very well placed for two. Pakistan's 200 runs coming up from 275 deliveries. Greg Campbell will bowl two overs. Bowled in the delivery, Greg Campbell. Well, that's what the crowd love to hear. The timber's upset, the bales are on the ground. And another batsman departs for, for, the, uh, for the pavilion. I've gone out in sympathy with the young fella. Over they go. And there could be a little damage there to stump cam. It's probably upset the focus. Might have upset a bit more than the focus, I think. <laughs> Might have completely destroyed it. Now, is that insured? The question must be asked. Well, it's in a very ordinary state of disarray. That's the view, and over she goes. Still a wobble. Off comes the plastic screen. A little lipstick camera in uh, behind that. <laughs> and there's the repairman. <laughs> Down she comes. Well, we've been waiting all summer for this to happen, Rodney. It was bound to happen. Pakistan 7 for 207. Beautifully played by Mustak. Beautifully placed. And he's dropped his bat, which means they can only get two. A beautiful throw from Simon O'Donnell. Well, today really has been packed full of incident. Good shot, this one, from Mustak. In fact, he looks better than his average of 11. He's not too sure whether he goes back, taps the fingers and away he goes. The dash for 22 yards in the finish. He does it comfortably. Oh, 
Oh, it must be a run out. Now, <laughs> which one were you going to take off, Alan? The closest one. A mix up, and Wakar Yunus is on his way back to the pavilion. Yeah, this come about from inexperience. Mustak Ahmed, yes, no, wait, uh, and then it's a very big sorry. They'll talk about it later. Alan Border not using too much energy and lifting the bale there. So, two teenagers. Really, it was the call for Mustak. He turned his back and left his mate stranded. So, Waka Yunus is out. Pakistan have lost their eighth wicket with a total at 218. That was a very good performance from the Australians to keep Pakistan down to that total. It looked at one stage as though they might race away to something around about 270 or 280. The card of the innings there after Imran won the toss and decided about 8 for 220. Lovely innings from Saeed Anwar at the start, 43 he made, then Salim Malik 67. Imran himself again in tremendous form. He's been very consistent, 8 for 220. And the Australian bowling figures, a good performance from Peter Taylor, I thought, 7 overs for 28, but the outstanding effort from Simon O'Donnell, 10 overs, no maiden, 2 for 32. In all, though, it was a great performance from uh, the Australian team to keep Pakistan down to that point. 221 to win at 4.51 per over, just 49 overs for the Australians, and they're not going to find it all that easy out there, even though Wazim Akram is not playing. Moody's up the top, there's a man down there, he's not going to get that, that's four. So Tom Moody going over the top of that short pitch delivery. Picks up the first boundary for Australia. Last Tuesday night a tough battle between bat and ball. Didn't see too many shots like this and the big fella 200 centimetres tall. Has used every centimetre of his height to get up underneath that one and push it away backward a point. 209 more runs required, 46 and one ball remaining and they're scoring currently at 4.23 and they require 4.52. All 10 wickets in hand, Imran Khan with the ball. Beautiful shot, that's four. No wicket for 16. Fine shot. It's four more for Mark Taylor. Glorious play off the back foot. Not much you can do about that. When you play at this level of cricket, you're going to run into batsmen of immense talent. Just watch this. Oh, fine shot. One bounce into the fence. Mark Taylor on fire here at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Well, the crowd getting their money's worth. It's not hard to see who they break for either. Two square cuts. Drives off the back foot. Now on the onside, he rattles the pickets. Taylor gets another boundary. Glorious shot. It's gone. Caught behind. Wacker Yunus gets the desired result. Taylor going again. Salim Yusuf takes the catch and it's one for 44. But Taylor would like to have gone on and continued on his happy way. When just left Taylor, good delivery. He was good enough to get an edge. So Waka Yunus takes his first wicket. Yusuf the keeper takes the catch. Taylor 29 in just 25 deliveries. Australia one for 44. we've been saying he's in such good touch ball has only to stray a little and Jones takes advantage of it beautiful shot from Dean Jones tremendous timing change of bowling now Akib is the new bowler well good catch A very good catch to get rid of Dean Jones. Had to make ground to it. Ejaz was the catcher. He's an excellent fielder. 
It was almost a Dean Jones style catch to get rid of Dean Jones. We saw Dino take one like this at the Gabba. In the end, uh, Jones had to dive to catch his. Ejaz got there standing up. A very good catch. Always when you're running the same direction as the ball, it's a tough catch. Australia now 2 for 58. Aki Javid continues. shot taking a while to come but that's straight out of the Allen Border scrapbook that is a magnificent shot that's hit very very close to middle like a bullet out of a gun bang good shot hasn't quite got it but placed it well enough and timed it well enough to go for four That's better. He put a man out at deep mid off, so he decided to go over mid on. And once again, didn't quite time it, but that was very good thinking by Tom Moody. That's brought a second four, and they've both come in that area of the field. Akib Javid most annoyed with himself. Australia bring up the 100 with that boundary to Alan Border. It's a man out there, but uh, Moody has just got it out of reach. He's really thrashed two fours already through the offside. That was magnificently timed. A shout there from uh, Salim Yusuf and he must have spun that one back a fair bit because he's bowled Alan Border around his legs. For a moment, I thought it had come off the keeper's pads. But uh, Torsif's got the breakthrough that Pakistan so desperately needed. Well, that four made Torsif adjust his line to middle leg stump. Bit of fight there and turn. And maybe a, a glove dragging the ball back onto the leg stump. And that's a vital wicket just when it was needed. Torsif bowls Alan Border. It's three for 122. A chance there for Salim Yusuf. He's been given out. Good piece of work there by Salim Yusuf because he had to go a long way to get that one. The ball really spun. Steve Waugh never at home against the spinners. And Mushtaq has struck. Beautifully bowled. Really was. Brought him down out of the crease. Ball spins. And Stephen Waugh, he's a long way from home. Was never going to make it. And this is a match, a real match here at the Sydney Cricket Ground. War, beautifully stumped by Yusuf. It's four for one, two, seven. It's nicely hit, but uh, it's hit the fence on the full and come back into the field of play. It's four for one, thirty-two. Moody goes high, but I don't think he's gone far enough. Oh, heavens above. Well, we saw Saeed Anwar take a miraculous catch and hang himself on the fence in Adelaide. And that hasn't pleased the skipper. Should have been caught. Hasn't pleased the skipper one little bit. Now he's making another field change. Saeed Anwar comes in. And uh, that's the reason he's being pulled in, not exactly in disgrace, but um, perhaps just a little way towards that. Oh, well. Very good straight drive. A slight fumble. There would have been two there anyway. Powerfully hit by Peter Taylor. End of the over. Australia 4 for 153. Last 10 overs. Caught. Skipper Imran Mushtaq claims a wicket, deserves it too. He's bowled very well. I we thought uh, the place that Peter Taylor could go. He hit a boundary, was over Imran's head. He didn't get enough elevation on the shot. There's a big gap behind Imran. Almost belted his bat into the ground, didn't pick it up cleanly. And hit it straight to Imran, who made no mistake. So Peter Taylor on his way, Australia. Five for 159.
with that uh, balance between runs and balls remaining. And a chance there for Salim Yusuf. He's been given out by umpire McConnell. So Saeed Anwar has done the job for his skipper. I said if he got a wicket, it would be an absolute bonus. Well, mark that down as a double bonus because he's got the man that Australia really needed to make 100, Tom Moody. Quite rightly so. Uh, spin taking four wickets in this Australian innings. Back foot of Tom Moody not being able to stretch back beyond the line. Happiness for Pakistan. And a fine knock ending prematurely by Tom Morty. 74, Australia 6 for 169. And that's a six. That's a big one. And in fact, that's gone nearly as far as Saeed Anwar's. He's just missed the uh, lady stand. That's gone way up into the Brawongal stand, up under the top level of the Brawongal stand. A huge hit from Simon O'Donnell. We tend to expect some big hitting in the one day as they don't go much bigger than this. The top deck of the Brewongle. So almost into the super boxes. That is a great hit. That brings the crowd right to the edge of their feet. That's good over for Australia. Simon O'Donnell with a six and a four. And that really has helped the Australian cause. Six for 185 after 43. Torsif, and that could be out, yes. A brilliant piece of work from Torsif. And boy, didn't Pakistan need it. Ian Healy has been running well between wickets, but that was a terrific piece of fielding by Torsif. Imran Khan the first time in a long time having a little bit of a smile look at that Torsi going to his left he's had to crank the body round to throw with his right arm nearly out for eight Australia seven for one nine two and the experienced Imran Khan coming in from the members end he gets it just wide he used it but races down to third man there's a sweeper there just two runs and good evening Rod Marsh good evening Bill it's been a very good game of cricket, this. Although the game hasn't counted as much as uh, changing the face of things for the finals. It's been a fantastic game. We've seen two of the biggest hits you're ever likely to see. He's popped that away. That's racing away. That's going to be four. That's a beauty. That's a ripper. Beautifully played. Beat backward point and third man. Bad delivery, but great shot. Four runs. A five balls. He's got to go for it. Flex it down the final eight for single. They've done on strike. A big bye. Three to win. Close. He's got in. He's come. Oh, what a finish. England gets Simon Adon of LBW with three runs for victory. The end of a fine inning, three balls to be bowled, three runs, and Cole Rackerman will make his way to the wicket. What a finish, what a match. Carl doesn't want to go. He's getting advice from all quarters. Fine innings from Simon O'Donnell, out for 39. In the final over, taking his time with the field place, and even slowed the game down. Caught Simon O'Donnell hitting across the line. The judge LBW for 39. Imran Khan to Carl Rackerman. Swing and a miss. Oh, the pressure mounts. Wasn't a good delivery. Wasn't a good shot. Well, the style was there, but it wasn't any contact. In comes Imran Khan. Ball in! Wow, what a finish. Rackham and Queen bowled by Imran. One ball to be bowled. Two runs for victory, and it's going to be the veteran Terry Alderman to face the music. What a finish. As Alderman takes guard. Indicado on the 
Pakistan manager. He's been his first in a couple of paces at deep mid wicket. Where is Jarvan? Oh, the 12th man, Shohab Muhammad's coming out on the field. There was a message, he's been sent back. <laughs> That's all happening at the Sydney Cricket Ground. And there's nobody at mid-wicket. The last delivery from Inman to Terry Alderman. And he's missed it. So it's all over. Great victory for Pakistan. A real quick hang on by two runs. Well, that was a marvellous game of cricket. Played in tremendous spirit and uh, a great climax and uh, a very, very good prelude to the first of the finals to be played in Melbourne. This is the scorecard for the Australians in reply to Pakistan's 220 for eight. They made 218 for nine. And uh, good innings from Tom Moody and Simon O'Donnell. Good all-round performance from O'Donnell. And the Pakistan bowling, Imran Khan, I thought, bowled very well again. Two for 28. Splendid all-round performance from him. Mushtaq, the leg spinner, bowled well, and so too did Torsif. So it's good night from the Sydney Cricket Ground. Great game of cricket. Look forward to having you with us at the first final in Melbourne on Friday. Good night.